Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In the past, I have created several videos showing you how to capture breathtaking HDR bracketing rows on different camera models. But from time to time, I got the question, how can I now develop a picture from these bracketing shots? And this is exactly what I will show you today. So in this video, I will show you how to create a stunning HDR composition from several HDR bracketing shots. It's the year 2022, and I'm using Lumina Neo with the integrated HDR Merge plugin. So why do I use this software? Um, first of all, I don't want to spend thousands of euros on any subscription model for software which I only partly use. And therefore Lumina Neo with the HDR Merge plugin is a good alternative as Lumina Neo is 89 euros at the moment and the HDR Merge plugin is 49 euros on top. So you don't get poor on this. Um, the second thing I like is this system is fast. There is nothing worse than being on a, on a, on a travel and developing a photo uh, in between some stations or in the car and then staring at a loading screen the whole time for, for, for minutes and minutes and minutes. I hate this. So I will tell you more about performance later, but Lumina Neo with the HDR Merge plugin is the fastest solution that I have used for developing HDRs. And the third, and that's nearly the, the, the biggest advantage, is the quality of the shots. Um, with Lumina, you can create stunning HDRs, and um, they are without noise, um, they are automatically aligned, and all these algorithms work perfect. So you have a really high quality uh, picture in the end. And that's why I use Lumina Neo with the HDR Merge plugin. You can find both softwares in the video description and in a comment uh, below and you can find a link to the software there, an affiliate link where you can also uh, get a trial of Lumina Neo. Now I've talked a lot, let's jump right into it. Here on my desktop, I have already prepared some shots. These shots are from a bracketing row with 10 different exposure settings. So from these shots, I want to develop one HDR composition now. So, I open Lumina Neo, my image editor. So, and if you have clicked on the puzzle icon left to the logo, then you can install the HDR Merge plugin, which you need to have as a prerequisite. So now I select all my HDR bracketing shots here, which I have available in RAW format. You can also import JPEGs here, but for uh, reasons of quality, I would advise against JPEGs and would opt for raw data because they just have more image information inside. So I take these shots now and I drag and drop them to the HDR merge area in Lumina. So now when you see these shots here in the HDR merge area, um, the exposure value is shown underneath the pictures. And now you can go to the settings and you could as well um, activate anti-ghost features or features for auto alignment of handheld shots. We don't need this here. So I'll just click on the merge button and the program starts to merge these 10 files to one single picture. By the way, this is the lighthouse Far Petit Minou in France. And from these bracketing shots, I have created one of my best selling images on various stock photo portals. When Lumina has finished composing this HDR picture, then you can find it in the catalog in the folder HDR Merge. We can just simply double click on the picture and then switch to the editing mode. And now we have infinite possibilities of HDR processing. Well, an HDR image that lives from the details and the contrast and the colors, but there is not one single solution for developing a breathtaking HDR. It all depends on the motif. It all depends on the emotions in the picture. And of course, it also depends on the personal taste of the photographer who is developing this picture. So because of these reasons, it doesn't make sense to go, to go through all the options and all the possibilities Lumina gives you as an image editor. And I assume that most photographers should already know the basics on how to develop a picture uh, on the PC. Well, um, let's just go to the things that I usually do to an HDR composition to make it look like an HDR. And um, normally when processing, I start with the histogram and the shadows and the highlights. 
In this way, I increase the range of visible details. For example, I decrease the highlights a little bit so that there are more details visible, for example, in the highlighted clouds here. And of course, I enhance the shadows a little bit so that we can a little bit yeah, see more in the dark. Like for example, here under the bridge, you can see that the dark area now lightens up a little bit and we can see more of the rock details here. I can enhance that still when going to the curves here and I'll do a slight S curve and then I'll also enhance all the shadows and all the details in the highlights. Those visible details I can now enhance or strengthen um, in the details section by enhancing small, medium or large details. And now for the first time in this picture, we see a real HDR look for the first time. Well, as already said, it doesn't make sense to go through all the other options because one person likes more saturation, the other one doesn't like it. And so this is all up to you. But be sure Lumina has you covered with all the functions available and uh, you can really create your dream picture with this program. Well, there is one function I want to deep dive into um, nonetheless because I just find it technically amazing. You have to know that Lumina comes with different AI algorithms that help you to create a great picture. For example, there are some AI-driven, artificial intelligence-driven uh, functions for portraits, but also for landscape. And one of them is the possibility to exchange the sky. And yeah, I've tried this several times now, and it does really give us great results. Although me as a photographer who likes to portray the, the real nature and um, authentic landscapes, I don't know um, what exactly I think of this function because it changes the complete appearance of a picture. But anyways, technically it's great and just let's just have a look at it. For example, here in the Sky AI field, I can just select a sky for the program to exchange. And I go to the Dynamic Sky 6 here, which does this beautiful sunset behind the clouds. And one thing you notice is that not only the sky is exchanged and transferred to a new sky, but also the surrounding lighting is adapted to this. So it doesn't look weird because maybe in the, I would have expected in the foreground, a white balance wouldn't, wouldn't uh, suit to the lighting conditions in the sky, but this is exactly what Lumina does. It changes the lighting values so that the complete shot looks natural. And that's a quite stunning, that's a quite stunning function. And, and see how fast it is. You can switch different skies and you can just see how fast the system just exchanges the sky in the picture. It's, it's simply great. At the beginning of the video, I told you that I like Lumina Neo and the HDR Merge plugin, especially for its performance. And I want to go a little bit more into the details now. Um, in the past, I have used several HDR editors. For example, I've used Affinity Photo in the beginning. Then I've switched to Aurora HD, HDR 2019, which is also from the same developer as Lumina Neo. And um, now I use Lumina Neo with the HDR Merge plugin. And I've run some tests on my machine um, and the results are that um, Lumina Neo with the HDR Merge plugin combines one uh, HDR composition from 10 different shots in 19 seconds. Affinity Photo needs around 25 seconds for doing the job and Aurora HDR 2019 uh, needs around 26 seconds for doing the same job. So um, that's a big plus. So this is by far the most um, the most performant solution for developing HDRs because I simply hate it. I'm on vacation, I'm taking photos. I have a little bit of time in a cafe or somewhere in between some bus stops and I want to develop an HDR photo on the go and then I'm staring at a loading screen. It's, it's simply worse. Um, when talking about performance, Lumina Neo and the HDR Merge plugin are not only fast when initially importing the pictures, but also when editing the video later. You do a change in the filters or in any editing mode and you see it directly in the image. And if it takes some time, then it's only a very short time for the image to update to the filters. 
So this is really one of the best experiences I've ever had when editing HDR. Well, now you have two options. The first option is to download the free trial, which you can find on the link in the video description or in the first comment. So you can try out Lumina Neo for yourself. It's a great editor, try it, it doesn't cost any money. If you like it then, then you can buy the program. You can also use the link in the video description and in the first comment. And if you buy it, then just keep in mind that Skylum, the developer of Lumina, is located in Ukraine. And um, if we have a look at the Russian war of aggression against Ukraine, uh, then with this purchase, you can help the Ukrainian people and the Ukrainian economy. So keep that in mind. And I hope you liked my video and it gave you a first impression on how to develop HDRs in 2022. Um, I would be happy if you give this video a thumbs up and if you subscribe to my channel for further photography tutorials and videos. And yeah, have a nice day and have fun editing your HDR shots. See you soon.